Arrows are set to fly when Jeremy Renner's Hawkeye spin-off series hits the Disney Plus streaming platform in 2021. But it turns out there was originally a very different plan for Marvel's bow-loving Avenger. That plan was to give Clint Barton his moment in the cinematic sum with a feature film in the vein of the rest of his original Avengers brethren. Somewhere along the line, though, Marvel head honcho Kevin Feige had second thoughts about continuing Hawkeye's story in a big-screen standalone film. Rather than banking on the one-off Hawkeye flick that Renner had originally signed on for, Feige and the Marvel team instead reimagined the hero's narrative prospects for a small-screen venture, deciding that the Hawkeye story the MCU needed would actually benefit from a serialized approach. The Disney Plus series will see Renner's arrow-slinging archer officially passing the torch to the next Hawkeye in the form of the comics fan-favorite character Kate Bishop. Though no deal has officially been inked for the coveted role of Kate, Haley Steinfeld has been circling the role for months, and it seems like just a matter of time before a deal is done. Although it's plain that a multi-episode serial will allow for more of a deep dive into Barton's post-endgame story than a feature film would have, Feige was a bit apprehensive about flipping the plan. Luckily, it doesn't sound like Renner needed much convincing about transitioning Hawkeye from big screen to small. Renner's Hawkeye has been hanging around the MCU since a brief cameo in 2011's Thor, followed by a full appearance in 2012's The Avengers. The character has appeared in just three MCU films since, Avengers Age of Ultron, Captain America Civil War and Avengers Endgame. While Barton has become a fan favorite of sorts over the course of those films, he's frequently been relegated to secondary status among the increasingly crowded Avengers landscape. We haven't met yet. I'm glad. I don't care. This likely played a big part in Hawkeye's transition to the small screen. Of course, if the ultimate goal of Marvel's Hawkeye series is to see Barton pass the bow to the next generation, then the series should also offer an opportunity for MCU fans to get acquainted with young Kate Bishop. The inclusion of Bishop in future phases of the MCU also helps to bolster the rumor that Feige and company are planning for a young Avenger flick at some point in the future. One other young Avenger has already been introduced in the MCU, the now teenage Cassie Lang, the daughter of Ant-Man, who in the comics goes on to be a member of the Young Avengers under the name Stature. It's just possible that the Hawkeye series could set up the formation of this team, although that is pure speculation at this point. In fact, it's still a bit too early to tell just what narrative Hawkeye will take. But it seems likely that we'll be seeing a modified version of Bishop's origin story. The character first appeared as a trauma survivor who beefs up on combat training in the wake of a brutal attack. She's thrust into heroic action by happenstance, coming to the aid of the titular team in Young Avengers issue 1. By the time Bishop took up the Hawkeye mantle in the comics, Barton had already been killed off. Strangely enough, it was Captain America, by way of Jessica Jones, who officially passed the Hawkeye codename off to Bishop. So Marvel's creative team will clearly have to make some changes when adapting Bishop's story for the small screen. That, however, should be a fairly easy task. Given the ringer that Barton was put through during the events of Avengers Endgame, it's a safe bet that the aging hero will be eager to pass the bow on to a young apprentice. Whatever direction Marvel's creative team choose to go in with Hawkeye, it's clear that the narrative ground for the series remains more than fertile. It's just as clear that fans are beyond excited to spend a little extra time with Barton. He is hoping that the excitement extends to whoever steps into the fray as Bishop. Hawkeye is expected to debut on Disney Plus in late 2021. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite MCU characters are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.